This lesson is going to be another lab-based exercise where I'm going to introduce CodeStar to you. So firstly, a bit of theory and visuals behind it. So we have CodeStar and this allows developers and teams of developers to collaboratively work on projects. And it can then work with multiple services, not just these on the screen. It can work with other services as well, and we'll see that shortly. But what then happens is you can connect your IDE, so your integrated development environment to CodeStar. And then CodeStar can work with various different services, including CloudFormation, CodeCommit, CodeBuild, and CodeDeploy. And then it can then build out the resources. Now, in this example, for instance, we've got an application that's running with an API endpoint, a Lambda function, and a bucket. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to create a project in CodeStar from a predefined template, and it's going to deploy a Node.js application running from a S3 bucket using a Lambda function and an API endpoint. So before we get into that, a bit of theory behind CodeStar. So AWS say that CodeStar enables you to quickly develop, build, and deploy applications on AWS. It provides a unified interface, enabling you to easily manage your software development activities in one place. So just remember some of that wording for the exam with the unified interface. You know, this is a collaborative tool for teams of developers. You can set up a continuous delivery tool chain very quickly. <clears throat> and the benefit of that is that you can release your code fast. So CodeStar is about collaborating with an entire team securely and having easy access to be able to manage who is able to modify, contribute, and so on to your projects. Each project comes with a project management dashboard, and that includes an issue tracking capability that's powered by Atlassian. So again, watch out for some of this stuff. It can come up in exam questions. With the dashboard, you can then easily track your progress across your entire software development lifecycle. So let's head over to the console now and let's create a project using AWS CodeStar. I'm in the AWS Management Console. I'm going to go to Services, come down to Developer Tools and choose CodeStar. So now we can create our first project. So let's just click on Start a Project. And here in this dashboard, you can see you can select from a template. So there's lots of different options here. I'm just going to stick with Node.js. I'm going to call this My Node JS app. And then you can choose the repository you want to use. So you can use CodeCommit or GitHub. We'll just use CodeCommit and it's going to create this repository name. Choose next. It notifies you that it's going to request permission to administer resources on your behalf. And then let's just create the project. So you can see that the whole process here from source to build, test, deploy, and then monitoring. And it shows you what services are going to be used. So you've got code commit, code build for the build piece, and then we've got cloud formation for doing the deployment and cloud watch for monitoring. So now you can actually connect your environments. So you can connect Visual Studio, your command line tools, and so on. And if you select one of these and click on see instructions, you'll then get instructions for that environment. We can see at the bottom here that it's creating our repository, so that should be finished soon. So the repository is being created. I'm going to just skip on this screen because I'm not going to connect an IDE at this stage. And the project is being set up. If we go over to CloudFormation, we should now be able to see what's happening. So we can see we have a create in progress. Let's have a look at what it's actually creating. So if I scroll down here, we can see a website bucket's being created, a code deploy trust role, we can see a code commit repository, and it's still in progress, so there's going to be more coming soon as well. So now we can see it's created a code build project as well, and a project pipeline. So let's also have a look in code deploy, and let's go to source code first. Let's have a look in our repositories, and we now have a new repository. And if we go to code build, we've now got our build project. So back on CloudFormation, you can see the project pipeline is in creation. So while that's still running, let's go back to the CodeStar dashboard. So we can see our project has been successfully created. It's telling us we're not connected to an IDE at this stage. And then you can see the continuous deployment here. So we can see our source in code commit, our build in code build. Those have both succeeded. And then the next phase, which is in progress, is deployment. 
and this is using CloudFormation. On the left here, you can choose team, and this is where you can add your team members. So you can see I'm already in there, and you could then add additional users. So we could optionally add Paul in here and define what role we want Paul to have. We've then got extensions and our project here where you get a lot of details for your project, including the ARN of your application. Let's head back to the dashboard and see if this is complete. So now we've got the deployment complete and we have an application endpoint. So if we connect on that, we get this nice congratulations message. So what has it actually created? Well, if we go, we can see in CloudFormation the resources, but I want to show you as well in the console here. Let's go to S3, and it should have created an S3 bucket. So we can see that it's created a couple of buckets here. Let's now head over to AWS Lambda, and we can see it's created a function for us, which is a hello world function, written in Node.js. So we can see the function code here. And then if we go over to API Gateway, we should also see that it's created an API. So here we've got our CodeStar Node.js API, and we can see we have a get method, and we also have a couple of stages. So that's how easy it is to create a project from one of the default templates on CodeStar. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's just a quick exercise in how to use CodeStar. It's relatively new. It's probably not going to be featured too heavily on the exam, but I advise you just to make sure you understand the differences between all of the different developer tools before you go to the exam. Now to clean this up, we can quite simply go down and choose delete project. And we just need to copy and paste. And obviously this has been built through CloudFormation. So that should now start removing all your resources. And as always, just go in and make sure that it does check in CloudFormation, see that it's deleted the entire stack successfully.